it was just another peaceful day for Barankus. Until it wasn't. So, carrying on for last time, I went to the Hunter Trainer, where I ended up having the option between these two new abilities. After, honestly, not too much thought, I bought Arcane Shot and put it on my hotbar. My next objective was to go kill some Wendigos in this place called the Grizzled Den. Very carefully making my way down this mountain, not really sure how full damage works yet, I actually instantly found the Grizzled Den. And, ah, uh, this place was our battlefield. And it didn't really help that there were literally corpses of dudes outside the cave. <laughs> and I mean, in this game mode, I'm not taking any chances, so I'm playing super, super safe. So I just waited outside for the Wendigos to respawn, which I managed to kill with relative ease. So I got to work smacking down these young Wendigos and taking their manes. And then I got closer to the cave and I thought, hey, maybe it's not so bad, so I'll start to head in. And then they all started chasing me, so I instantly booked it. I ended up being chased out of this camp, which luckily for me, was actually a part of my quest objective. Afterwards, I went back and killed my last Wendigo. But as I was heading back, I noticed something out of the corner of my eye, a copper vein. Keeping that in mind, I returned and completed my quest. And while I was here, I also bought some more ammo. And now it was time to head back to Karanos, where I'd complete another quest and level up yet again. And this time when I leveled up, I got a tip about professions. And while I do know what professions are, I never really did them in retail. I think I mined like two rocks or something. So I went over to this iron forge mountaineer till I found the mining profession. Tells me I to go to Steel Grills Depot. And luckily for me, I know exactly where that is. While I was here, I actually had a quest to hand in, so I did that. Searching around a little bit, I ended up entering this house where I eventually found the mining trainer. And officially, young dwarf Barangus became an apprentice miner. And while I was outside, I bought a pickaxe and then I made the journey back to the rock. <laughs> But while I was heading back to Rock, I couldn't help myself but accept this quest. And then once again, I set my eyes on Rock. Not so carefully making my way down this mountain this time, I was quickly intercepted by a bear. But don't worry, I destroyed this oso pendejo. But that wasn't the only thing. There was also a snow leopard blocking my rock. Being a master of diversion, I waited until the snow leopard passed. And then finally, the rock was all mine. <laughs> mine. Anyway, I mined the rock and collected my copper ore. And then I collected some more copper ore, but then the snow leopard had set eyes on my dwarven cakes. So I killed this dumb dog snow leopard. But as I turned around, you would believe what I saw. Some little rodent was running to my rock. And by the time I got there, it was gone. And I was pissed. Not really knowing what to do now, I decided to continue questing. And I had to make my way down this frozen river, where I eventually reached a town. And in this town, a lot of quests. But hey, that's not a problem, at least it gives me fast XP. For my next quest, I had to go up this mountain, but there was an ice bear blocking my way. But it was only one level ahead of me, it can't be too bad. So I sniped my shot at this ice bear, and then realized I made a grave mistake. It's only one level ahead of me, why is classic so hard? Anyway, I made my way back to Thunderbrew Distillery, where I had to talk to this dude called Jarvan Thunderbrew and buy him a bear. While I was looking for the bear, I found the option to make this in my home, and then the dwarf cast some spell on me, and then I bought the Thunder Ale. So I gave said Thunderbrew to Jarvan, and he took it with no hesitation. And my plan worked because he left to get more. And now I had finally completed the barrel quest. Quickly returning to see if my rock <laughs> had returned, it had. So I once again descended the mountain. Mind myself some more copper ore. And I swear, I'm seeing like dead bodies every five minutes. These things are just littered around the place. Returning to this little village, I handed in my quest. And then run back to the hunter trader to see if I can buy any more abilities or skills. And there's one called Aspect of the Monkey, which is pretty good actually. It just lets me dodge more. And then I saw this ability called Hunter's Mug, and it basically just lets me do more damage, so yeah, of course I'm gonna buy it. I then went into the blacksmith or something next door, and searched around some of the shops to see if it was possible to buy, like, some new armor or weapon. And that's when I found the weaponsmith, whose only item I could buy was a tomahawk. But, the tomahawk was better than my weapon, so I bought that shit, and equipped my new tomahawk. Which I then tested on this elder crag boar. But I noticed my inventory was getting full, so I decided to head to a store to sell some stuff. And that's when I saw a skinning knife. And I had noticed that the animals I've been killing do say they're skinnable. And earlier when I killed the boar, some little dude ran over, and then he started skinning the boar that I had just killed. So I wanted to do that too, so I bought a skinning knife. I returned to the boars, and upon killing it, I looted it, and then tried to skin it. But honestly, I... I couldn't figure out how to do it, I was clicking everywhere. Thinking it was probably a profession, I went to the guard, and sure enough, there was skinning. 
but it said I had to go to a place called Ironforge. And the only problem was he didn't really tell me where that was. So I busted out the old map and uh, found it right away. So I started making my way there. When as I was running up the hill, the guard just kind of ran at me, but I don't know what he wanted. He just kind of ran away. And making my way further up the hill, I finally made it to the entrance. And what an entrance. This place is so cool. So cool that I, uh, I had to actually stop and, and quickly take a screenshot. It's, it's really cool. But moving on, I headed into the dwarven place. And man, this place is sick. It's huge. And there's lava and there's dwarves. It's super cool. And probably getting lost, I made my way into the center to this place called the Great Forge. And I don't know why, but my first instinct was like, can I jump in the forge? And I was like, so tempted. I was almost doing it. I thought, no, this is a very bad idea. Looking around a little bit, I found this dude called the Griffin Master, which I assume is just like the Flight Master. And then I talked to the guard, where I once again asked about the skinning profession. And it turns out there's one here in the forge. I opened my map and I mean, there hadn't been markers on the map so far, so I completely missed the flag. <laughs> but luckily not too much later, I, I did notice it and started to head in the right direction until I made it to these stairs and entered the skinning place where I found the skinning trader and became a skinning apprentice. Now I know I'll need a profession to let me make like gear and stuff, so I went back to the guard and tailoring was just under skinning, so this must have been it, right? And then I ended up finding the tailor where I was going to train in the art of the needle. But it turns out since I already had two professions already, I couldn't take it. But I found out pretty quickly how to uh, unlearn professions. But then I trained in the art of the needle and became an apprentice tailor. And that's when I noticed something that I really wanted, which was a bag because the bag space sucks. But all I could buy for now was this white linen shirt. And then I started to second guess myself if this was the right profession. So once again, I went back to the guard to ask about professions. And that's when this time I saw leather working, which luckily for me was in the same building as before. So I went in and talked to the expert leather worker, but apparently this isn't the dude. Until I eventually found the journeyman leather worker, and I could finally train in leather working. But uh, first, I had to unlearn the tailoring thing that I just learned, and then I became an apprentice leather worker. Let's go. I assumed I'd need some supplies, so I bought some coarse thread and stuff. But yeah, I wasn't really sure. And then it was finally time to leave Iron Forge, so I made my way out of the grand entrance and went straight into the forest, where I ended up finding this dead rabbit on the ground. But it turns out. I could skin it. So I right click and skinned that shit. And then I realized how good the skill is actually gonna be because there's so many dead animals around. I can just skin everything in the entire area. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just couldn't stop. I couldn't stop skinning. But afterwards, I made my way back to a store just to see how much it sells for. And hey, it's actually not bad. So as you can guess, I got back to work killing and skinning. And with that last snow leopard I killed, I completed a quest. And now my next quest that he was gonna give me offered me an ax, but it's worse than my my tomahawk but I accepted and then used my hearthstone because I hadn't used it yet and I think it's faster and surely enough I was taken back to the inn skinned some more stuff on the way and then made my way to pilot Balufas to turn in my quest and accept this completely useless axe and then something dawned on me yeah I'm getting all this leather but I don't know what to do with it so I went back to a guard to ask about leather working but he didn't really give me more information I had no idea where I needed to go to do leather making but I continued collecting leather anyway and now coming to an end of my first day of hardcore, I hopped in the chair and fell asleep. But tomorrow was a new day and I logged in and continued my journey of hopefully not dying. First thing I did was make my way to the hunter trader where I started looking through the abilities again and that's when I saw parry. And this skill gives a 0.0% chance to parry. I'm not really sure the point of this. And in the end I settled on upgrading my raptor strike to level 2 and finally buying this concussive shot. But not Perry, fuck Perry. And this day was lining up to be much like the other one. Just seeing a lot of corpses littered throughout the land, literally everywhere I go. But I got back to my favorite pastime in this game, which is skinning. And that's when I decided I'd head back to Ironforge. And come on, man, I don't even know how you die here. Like, how? <laughs> I needed to learn how to make stuff with my leather. But the lowest item is level 15. And I don't know how I'm meant to get level 15 when I'm only level 1. So learning absolutely nothing, I left Ironforge. Where I continued skinning. And I mean, my skinning level was hooning. Moving on, I ran past this bear cave, but... That was a pretty quick nope, but I think I was finally brave enough to try head up this hill to try finally do this quest. And that's where I came to this camp, where I had to steal some dude's weed stash. So I got to work collecting the weed. Returning back to the village, 
I found another fallen brethren. So I handed in my quest and got this goat fur cloak. And then I had a quest to go find this dude in Lokmodad. I had no idea where that was, honestly. So instead I tried to do this other quest where I just had to kill some of these trolls. But I only killed one because I was too spooked. Instead I decided to keep killing animals. And there was about to be a whole lot of skinning. And skinned I did. I skinned the shit out of this area. And my bag was getting full of skin. <laughs> I didn't know how to use it and my inventory was getting clogged so I ended up selling some of it. And then I thought I'd finally tackle this quest in Loch Modan. But I had no idea where Loch Modan was. So I just asked someone and turns out it's east of the map. And I, all I gotta do is keep going until I see a tunnel. So I said thank you and then started to head east to Loch Modan. But of course I had to stop to sustain my skinning addiction. But as I started skinning the bear, I got kind of jump scared because this wolf just jumped me from behind. Luckily this dude saved me, but he, uh, he definitely told me to watch my back. <laughs> yeah, I thanked him anyway. I actually really like the people in this game. They're really cool. Continuing my ways, I found another fallen uh, dwarf. And upon continuing, I ended up finding a signpost to know that I'm going the correct way. But I ended up finding this mine. And the dwarf I am, I can't pass up a good mine. But then I did pass up the mine. But as I was continuing, things were level 10 and they kind of spooked me too much. So I decided to turn around and get the hell out of there. And then decided I need to level up a little higher to continue. I decided that I was going to try my luck once again with these frostbane headhunters. So I saw one in their camp and decided to snipe that little dog. Shortly after shooting, I realized my mistake because the whole gang was after me. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't a great idea to choose the race with the short legs because I mean, I'm running a lot. But no matter, I kept training on the animals and leveled up and decided I could try and take on the mine. I accepted this quest from old dwarf boy and I just had to kill these rock jaw skull thumpers. And I ran into a little bit of trouble with this one. I think this one may have been able to kill me, but just to be safe, I ran up the hill and the, uh, the guards got to work and just fucking demolished. It. Finishing off the skull thumpers, I went back and handed in my dwarf quest. I then thought I was finally brave enough to head further east. And that's when I found it. The Tunnel, which took me to the South Gate Outpost. Where I finally found this dude and handed him his barrel of brew. But then, he asked me to deliver another barrel through a different tunnel even further away. And I really wish I would have known just how bad of an idea this actually was. And I accepted. Make my way through the tunnel. I ended up in an area that for once wasn't snowy and man, this place is really cool. And I can only imagine what this game was like back in 2004. But carrying on, I saw more scary shit. And I'm sure if I was careful and didn't run past anything, I should be fine. I then ran over to the signpost to check the direction I needed to go and I was heading the right way. I just had to go up this road. You know, it was a peaceful journey. Nothing was bad. And you know, this was nice. Just a nice nature walk. I was wrong. And the stupid trog was hiding in the bush. Why was it so fast? I had to run. There's nothing else I could do with my run. I don't know why I turned around to hit it. I don't know why, but no, I was dead. I was dead. I was dead. There's nothing I could do. I was dead. No chance. But then there were people in the distance. So I fucking yelled for help and they came running over. Oh my gosh. I have my, oh, my heart has never beaten so quickly in this game before. Oh my, my it would have been over. It, it would have been over. These guys saved me. And then they cast some healing magic on me. And then I told them there was something in the busk. And these guys were super chill. And they ended up giving me some health potions. And oh man, my heart was beating so quickly. This, this game's scary. I said thank you once again. Saw my quest objective in the distance. And then I finally handed it in. But he had another quest, which is to take another barrel. So nope. I really needed to level up more, so I ran to Ironforge to see if there were any quests in the area that maybe I could do, but upon searching around, I couldn't really find any quest or anything for me to do to get more XP, so I just ended up leaving. And that's when I decided to take a path that I hadn't taken yet, which was to go this way. And down this road, I ended up finding these leper gnomes, which I actually needed them for a quest, and I had no idea where they were this whole time. So I got to work killing these leper gnomes, and then I saw someone that was doing the same quest as me, and I'm not really sure how the group questing works in class. Classic, so I asked them and then they invited me to their group where together as a team We started smacking down these stupid leper gnomes and man this game is way less scary when you have two people But pretty shortly after the person had finished the quest I still had a few more to go But I said thanks for the help anyway, and then they sent me a message saying thank you back about 10 minutes later I got my last item that I needed off these leper gnomes and I returned to these other gnome dudes to hand in my quest I finally did it. I reached level 10 and I didn't even know there was a talent tree in this game. 
I, I actually had no idea. But afterwards, I noticed I had a quest from the hunter trainer called Taming the Beast. And he said that doing this quest would get me a pet. After a quick stop at the shop to sell some stuff, I set out to find my first pet. I started taming this large crag boar. And I mean, the taming's not too difficult. And then it was mine. I had this pet crag boar. Let's go. Turning to the trainer, he then wanted me to tame a snow leopard. But I mean, come on, I wanted to test out my boar already. So I sent my boar into battle, which he kind of just stopped. So I had to go and attack it myself. But even though when you have a pet, it's so much easier. Combat is so much better. But eventually it was time to tame the snow leopard. So I dismissed my pet and we said our farewell, but he was pissed and he attacked me. Like, why the hell would he attack me after I, we were friends? Come on, man. This is messed up. I had to kill my pet. And then I started to tame my snow leopard. And I mean, come on. I mean, I don't really know much about the other classes, but Hunter is so cool being able to have your own pets. And now that I'm level 10, I think I can get my revenge on that stupid bush trog. And that's exactly what I'm gonna go do. Wish me luck. Just made an album seven days, that's quick. Boobies going up and down, she's fit. Hold up, wait, rewind that shit. Got uncut gems, Adam Sandler, pit. She a vegan, she got a thigh there. Get my BL smoke, good as my line.